in this video i want to share with you guys how you can use the ordinary peeling solution the right way for you to get the best results last year i did this video the ordinary skincare routine for textured skin how to get smoother skin i showed you guys the transformation that i got when i use the ordinary peeling solution in this video i did not explain very well exactly what i did before using the product and some other things that i did after using the product so that i can get the results that i got i just want to show you guys some steps that you need to follow before using the ordinary peeling solution and some things that you need to do after using the ordinary solution to get the best results. So first things first, before using the ordinary peeling solution, you need to know your skin type and also the skin condition that you have. Whether you have dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, sensitive skin, or whether you have acne or inflamed acne on your skin that all determines exactly what you need to do before using the product now if you have sensitive skin don't use the ordinary peeling solution if you also have inflamed acne please stay away from this product just because this is very affordable that doesn't mean that we have to take away the fact that this is a very high concentrated acid second step you need to do patch test to make sure that you can really use this product you're going to patch test on any part of your body and you're going to wait for not over 10 minutes then after that 10 minutes has passed you can clean the area and wait for 24 hours to see if there are going to be any reaction if you can get reaction it means you cannot use the product stay away from this product now, if you see that you cleaned your skin the following day and your skin is looking normal, no irritation whatsoever, then that means that you can go ahead and start using the product. The third step leading to that day that you want to use this product, you don't want to use any product that is active. The reason why we are not using any actives before using this product is because we want to strengthen our skin barrier mind you if you just use this product without strengthening your skin barrier this product might irritate you might worsen your skin condition that you already have the skin conditions that you are trying to correct might end up being worsened if your skin barrier is not intact so that's the reason why I'm saying that it is very important to strengthen your skin barrier before using the ordinary peeling solution so you use a gentle cleanser that doesn't have any actives when i say doesn't have any actives i'm just trying to say that cleanser that doesn't have acid in there no salicylic acid no lactic acid just a simple cleanser that is going to cleanse your skin without exfoliating your skin then you have to follow that with hyaluronic serum I'm choosing Hyaluronic Serum because it speeds up the healing. So just in case your skin is irritated or is sensitized, that means that when you put Hyaluronic Acid, it's going to prep your skin by speed up the healing for your skin. So after using Hyaluronic Acid, you want to use any moisturizer that also doesn't have any acid or actives in that. On the day that you want to use this peeling solution, make sure it's night time the reason why i'm saying that is because if you use this one and you go outside your skin might be sensitized your skin might get irritated so you don't want that just in case you want to use this morning hours even though i don't recommend using it in morning hours make sure that you put sunscreen after this it is the day that you want to use the ordinary aha 30 percent plus bha 2 percent peeling solution so you're going to cleanse your skin using the gentle cleanser after cleansing your skin then make sure that your skin is super dry if you use this product on a wet skin your skin is going to be irritated straight up like as soon as you finish putting it you'll be like wow this is burning so you don't want that so i'm going to take a little bit of Vaseline. My skin is more sensitive around my mouth. 
I keep saying that you should do that, but for me, I know that around this area is going to be more irritated than the rest of the skin. So I'll make sure that at least I have to protect this area. And of course, under the eyes, let me put under the eyes. I have to start using the pill. spreading out of my skin let's look at the bottle what the bottle is saying do not leave on for longer than 10 minutes but if you have sensitive skin you know your skin get easily irritated then i don't recommend you keeping the mask for 10 minutes so even though the bottle is saying 10 minutes i'm going to leave my mask for at least five minutes then i'm going to rinse this using cold water Sometimes you might get a bad experience, you can be irritated just because your skin is just sensitive anyway. But sometimes you can get irritated because you did not wash that pill properly. So to avoid any irritation, I am going to go again using this cleanser on my skin to make sure that all the pills are off on your skin. As soon as you remove all the pill and you're sure that nothing is remaining on your skin then immediately you have to go in with the hyaluronic acid this is the ordinary hyaluronic acid The reason why we are using hyaluronic acid or any other hydrating serum we are strengthening the skin barrier so as you can see my skin just drawn that up already immediately after the hyaluronic acid i'm going to moisturize my skin moisturizing your skin is very very important i don't care what type of skin you have whether you have oily skin or dry skin combination skin you still need to moisturize your skin so i'm using the same moisturizer i will say this again exfoliation and hydration they go hand in hand I'm going to use our spf so make sure that you use your sunscreen when you're using this peeling solution so i'm just gonna put my sunscreen on my skin So now I'm going to share with you guys how you can take care of your skin after using the ordinary peeling solution. There are some things we need to do after using this. Maybe you used this before and you didn't get the best results. You have to remember what did I do after using this. Now, first things first, after using this product, do not please, for the love of your skin, do not use any actives after using this continue to do the same routine you did prior to using this product which means gentle products only without actives no acids so continue doing that routine for one week straight if you happen 
to use actives immediately maybe the first day or the next day your skin is going to be irritated it just means that you are over exfoliating your skin so you don't want to over exfoliate this peeling solution is enough if you can just use this and stay for a month without using any acid that's enough don't use this product and after three days you also want to use lactic acid then after three days you want to use salicylic acid it doesn't work like that leave your skin to do its thing this peel is going to be working on your skin the whole week even the week after so it is still working on your skin that's why it's called a peel for a reason as long as you are still doing your gentle skincare routine after this you keep repairing your skin barrier you're going to see that there is a difference between the first day you use this product and maybe after we use use the product your skin might get even better after five days so that's why i'm saying that this pill it is still working on your skin even after five days even after two weeks even after three weeks so it's not necessary to use any actives after that go ahead and watch the video that i was talking to you about to see the transformation that i got when i used that product and even now you can see my skin there is no makeup on my skin every time where you feel like you have this texture on your skin that when you touch your skin you don't really get the texture that you know you get when you, your skin feels bumpy when your skin looks dull it is not looking brighter it's not feeling smooth that's when you use this product then you're going to see even after using it as soon as you use it touch your skin immediately you're going to see the difference and as time goes on you are really going to see how your skin is shining it's more brighter more radiant more smooth you can use it just once and expecting that you can get results you have to keep using it but not every day which means that you can use this for example this month then after three weeks you can also use it after another three weeks so that you can get the best results i believe in this product by the way this is not a sponsored video at all they're not paying me to say this i've used this product time and time again and it has shown me wonders so Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video.